from John Lear. It was a long tour. It's a big ship, a literal flying city. Sorry I did not report back sooner. I was exhausted. The amount of wondrous things I saw and all the information I learned can really tire one out. Anyway, only a small number of folks were actually picked up. Twenty-five that I counted personally. It was told to us that Mr. Beckow and a lot of others could not be picked up at this time due to the fact that Mr. Beckow made all of this too public. It was supposed to be a behind-the-scenes first step, but with all the attention on Mr. Beckow, it was almost impossible for them to retrieve him and most of the others as there were safety concerns. We were told that Mr. Beckow and others were put under surveillance after all this becoming so public against the wishes of those on the Neptune, but they said they do appreciate all the work he has done and he will be contacted personally at the first possible time when it's safe. Today I'm allowed to take photos and post them back to EarthNet. I have a few mandatory training exercises I need to go do, but I will check back in later. This is all so surreal. Can't believe this is actually happening. Mr. Beckow made this too public and had some unsavory intelligence types watching his every move. There was no way they could have picked him up without incident, is what we were told. I have taken over 200 photos. However, the terminals on the ship don't have a USB port, so I will ask the advisor assigned to me my best option for uploading some of these photos the next time I see her. You should see the clothes these people wear. Quite cool. And I can assure you this trip was most definitely not canceled. It was revised and made smaller. You guys got to remember there are some very powerful people that don't want this open contact between our space family and us to take place. Especially bypassing the official government channels. Might we actually learn the truth for ourselves without government officials filtering it first? This is inevitable. And from what I've learned, what you got to realize is that the Earth is equivalent to a backwoods small town in the big galactic picture. There are many billions more humans living throughout the galaxy than on Earth. These other humans see us as quite naive babies, actually, like a tribe in the Amazon who has not made contact with the rest of the world. On top of that, they see most of us being brainwashed with lies and abused, made to eat unhealthy crap, poverty, we are in quite a sad state. Hopefully this will all change soon. As for Mr. Beckow, hopefully he learned an important lesson about shouting things from the rooftop when they should not be. Remember, he is under surveillance. At this time, it's better for him to believe this was a failure and he is leaving public life. This is for his own safety. When the time is right, he will be told that in fact the trip was a success and finally be able to see the fruits of his labors. Anyway, I have already become addicted to the gravity-free game court. So much fun floating around. The rest of the ship has artificial gravity, but they have told us it's only 83% of what it is on Earth, so it feels quite nice, actually, and a bit different. You want to hear something funny? When I first tried to post yesterday, I got a message banned from GLP from the ship, LOL. God knows what ISP range they are using. Anyway, it took a few attempts before I was finally able to post. This isn't my normal GLP ID. So whatever those other threads are seems like an attempt by the Dark Cabal to derail this at every chance. They don't use deodorant. I forgot my deodorant, so I tried to get some in the supply area. They said they don't use deodorant. The lady at the counter rolled her eyes and gave me a package that contained two small strips, really small, about a quarter of an inch long and by one-eighth inch thick. She looked at me like I'm some sort of caveman and told me to just stick each strip inside my shirt in the pit area and I'll be fine. I asked her how it worked and she said it was akin to what we would consider some sort of smart nanotech, where this stuff could find the stink particles and eradicate them. LOL. She didn't seem like she is the scientific type, so who knows. Anyway, hopefully they work. Speaking of dinner, there are literally thousands of options to choose from, including Earth cuisine. 
I tried some exotic stuff. I tried some form of seafood from some planet they call Octuria. I tried to act polite but had to spit it out. But a lot of the stuff is very similar to what we eat. And a lot of it isn't. We have been told that tomorrow we'll be taking a tour of this local part of the galaxy, starting with a stop at each planet in the solar system. So far we have just remained in orbit around the Earth. Tomorrow should make for some really interesting photo opportunities, and I have been assured that I will be able to upload the photos I have taken. Wow. <laughs> but a more interesting option is that I will be able to use one of their image capturing devices to take pictures, which somehow will make uploading them instantaneous. Exciting times, friends. February 5th, 2012. Last night we left the solar system to go on a most amazing tour of this corner of the galaxy. The one thing I kept thinking to myself was that, that quote Jesus said, in the house of my father there are many mansions. Indeed there are. Today I saw wonders that yesterday I could not have possibly imagined. Simply unreal. But the thing is, it is real. I feel much, much happier. I have a totally different perspective to what this all is. And it is just amazing. My fellow humans from Earth, we have been cheated and abused in the worst possible way. We have been enslaved through corrupt governments and are given just enough to survive. We are brainwashed into believing this is a world of scarcity. But I can tell you with no doubt, this is a universe of abundance. We have been robbed of living and enjoying life and all the wonderment that should go along with that. They have told me that indeed the elite of the earth have had propulsion and energy systems that would have turned the earth into a paradise 50 years ago, but that they have withheld this from the masses of earth in the name of greed and control. Out of their fear of losing control and losing their self-appointed place of authority, no longer. This will all end this year. John Lear and Sleeper on Planet Neptune. I think he brought his dog.